Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now mid-August. I'm out in our John Deere. I have our trailer in tow because I'm going to go and check in on our brewery. I'm hoping I'm going to have something to sell this morning. And then we've got a busy day preparing our lands ready to do some sowing. So uh, yeah, I thought we'd start off with something a little bit different again. We're going to be auction and tanking today. I, uh, I think we're going to have plenty of uh, slurry to uh, cover the uh, small crop field as well as our large field. And we are still on the lookout for another field, preferably of a good size, if we can find one cheap enough. So, if we pull in here. Well, not got a lot, have we? <laughs> so tell me what that product is. That is the strawberry, strawberry ale. Okay, strawberry there. So in my head, I felt like that had been going for longer. Let's have a little look at the management. So we are producing honey beer. We've got 200 litres and 900 litres there. So I guess we just have to wait for it to, uh, to go a little bit longer. We can't rush these things, I guess. Beer does take a while. Now we do have only, well, we only have a little bit of barley. I was going to say we could stick on the barley as well, but that might not be a good idea. Honestly thought that we were going to have <laughs> a few crates sitting there. So, I mean, we could take this one crate. I don't think it'd be worth much, but we are out, aren't we? So, uh, yeah, we'll sell one crate of our strawberry beer at the new supermarket. Strap that on. Now, what's going on with this field? I'd still really like to buy this. Now, last time, oh, it's full of stones. Last time, I think it was like 30% more or 60% more, maybe something silly. It was more than it needed to be. So uh, let's have a little look in the map and we'll see what that's worth. So down here, number 36. Oh, they're still up. 69%. Shame. Five minus seven. Does that have a crop in it? It doesn't. Might purchase field four. 63 grand. It's 8% less than it would be. I think I'm going to do it. Done. Purchase on a whim. See, that's what happens when your beer isn't there. You end up doing doing bad things. So let's have a look at that field. So we go and sell our beer. I'll try and get out of here now. What I really should do is invest in a lorry. I just want to come up cheap. I've checked the uh, sales and... There's not one there. Now, is that us straight opposite? Is that what I brought? I really should know, shouldn't I? It is. All right. It's, uh, it's just... Have a look at the state of this. Well, at least we know it's been limed. Need stone picking. Okay. That's cool. Right, I'm gonna get to the store and we'll uh, we'll sell our one uh, our one crate of beer. Did you see that as we uh, as we left the factory site? Debris crusher, great demand again. So they won't take them here. I'm just gonna come out. We drive across. It won't sell. Now I did get in touch with someone a while back on Facebook about how to add things to sell points. I need to uh, follow their instructions so I can do that for more mods. 
but we got 1400 for our troubles today. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things. Right, let's get back to the farm and uh, show our fields and then see if hopefully there's a little bit of time left at the end of the day that we can uh, sort out the, uh, the stones in our new field. That may be a job for a worker. So to start with, I've set a worker off uh, in the 7810, slurry spreading on the uh, small barley field. It's nice out here, don't it? It's a lovely day. Um, so yeah, they'll be busy doing that for a bit. That'll take a while. And I figure I might be a little exuberant and do double workers. So I might go and lease a stone picker and uh, put a worker in the Deutz and have them out in the new field just get the stones up because that's going to take them all day anyway probably too stone pickings always super slow uh, we can't use the lambo that would be quicker because it would pull a bit better but we're mulching with that that's what we're going to be doing out there so uh, yeah Deutz it is with Mr. Deutz further along just with a stone picker on so Let's jump in. That for now. And we'll uh, get down to the store. We'll uh, probably pick up the usual with an extended capacity. The cheapest one, or the cheaper of the extended capacities, just so we don't have to worry about going back and emptying them. They can uh, just do that. You never know, we might even be able to finish that while we still have great demand of the debris crusher. It's extremely unlikely that they will be finished in time, but you know what? It would be nice to recoup some of the money that we keep spending on leasing stone picker. This is 1400 each time. Probably uh, could have brought that model by now. It's 27 grand, so uh, maybe something we look into because it's uh, going to work out to be expensive. Excuse me. Right. A little jog back to the farm. And just in case you missed the uh, the last episode or the end of the last episode, no, well, not everyone sticks around to the end, unfortunately. But this is what we leased. We have the uh, SEPI MS9 set, so we've got the uh, nine meter width going across out of there. This one can attach front or back. We've got it on the back. That's two meters there. So uh, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a big mulcher, but it's a big field. It got through the other one pretty good. Now it does only have, I think, around about eight, nine meter working speed. So we'll uh, see how that goes. Now before, it didn't want to um, do everything that I wanted it to. So I'll just have to have a little uh, middle. So I have to put that down. Start them all up, I think. Then, if I remember rightly, just drop the uh, the doubles. Just leave that mulching out the back all the time. As if not, it wants to uh, keep lifting my front weight as well, and then it ends up dragging and causing a whole hoo-ha. See our lovely cows, they look good. Get some more of them soon. I think I might do a big order of cows. So, yeah. Might do a big order of calves, though. We did receive uh, 20 calves recently from uh, Dad Gaming and his family. They sent us some, which is very kind. I do think we need to buy a lot more. I'm, I'm thinking like a hundred. I think 100 calves probably cost us about 10, 20 grand. So, uh, I mean, it's something we could do right now. We wouldn't see much benefit for it for a whole game year, probably a little bit longer. Although all of ours do seem to be producing milk, which has sort of surprised me. I'm not sure if they got fixed. They might have got fixed recently in uh, 1.6. I'm not sure. 
That might be why last time we sold milk. I thought there was going to be more and there wasn't. Explain that. Now, I can't remember if I said, but the this mulcher set, this is on lease as well. At the minute, we currently have the mulcher set on leash, on leash, on lease. We have um, our little log trailer, which is a long-term thing. And uh, obviously the stone picker. Now we do have the lease to purchase mod on PC. So I'll probably purchase that um, log trailer anyway. I'm not sure what I'd do that would make me require a bigger one. I don't mind doing the little runs. I'm not that good at logging to uh, to need something more extravagant anyway. Now I would like to say I'd lease these to purchase as well, but I'm not sure. I mean, we mulch all the time anyway, so it might not be a bad thing. We could see how we do for we lease it for a year and then we're only sort of paying pay the, the, the daily um, cost which is uh, probably about six seven hundred pounds in total the set obviously then pay for the lease the cost of use when it is in use which is only after harvests then when it comes to the time of if we decide to purchase it all of that use, all of that um, money that we've paid is deducted from, a, from the purchase of it. So uh, that might be a way to do it, rather than leasing these, returning them, leasing a different mulcher, returning it, and then paying full price for a whole different mulcher or one that we've already leased. And this is pretty much the business when it comes to uh, mulchers at the minute. There are probably some a little bit bigger, some that go a little bit quicker. But as a set, it's pretty awesome. Really, really nice, tidy mod. Available in the mod hub. But this is probably going to be a big chunk of my day's work. I'm hoping I can get this done and get started on Slorian in here. Even if I get maybe halfway through the mulching and uh, swap over, put a, put a worker in there to finish off the mulch, and I start to slurry the field, that might be a thing that I do. I think I'll do one more headland give myself plenty of turn and space and the work plenty of turn and space I'll go around again and then uh, work on the up and down and probably do do a uh, time lapse getting us sort of halfway through and then I'll make a decision what we're going to do from there start getting on with the tanking we'd uh, come and see how our workers getting on with the stone picking they're getting through it um, looks a bit of a mess but I think they know what they're doing it doesn't look like where the strips are that they've missed any of the stones so 
I was secretly hoping they'd be a bit further through it than they are. Um, only because as I've put the worker on the mulcher, we've sort of started passing through that stony section. Um, so it would have been nice to have uh, got that done today as well. And so this might be something as well that goes on to a long-term lease with a look for a purchase. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back to the, uh, the John Deere and uh, start tanking. So again, a little uh, recap on what we've got. We've got the uh, the high spec. It's the uh, 23,000 or 2300, sorry, SAR. So standard splash plate on, plate on the back. We can um, change that fitting for something else, should we wish in the future. Now, for the worker to uh, obviously do the slurrying, it has been set that they unload it from the cows. Now, it's been so long since I've sort of used that myself. Now, I'm sure in maybe 17, because I don't think I'd have tried at all in 19. You used to be able to pull it from there as well yourself. Obviously, you can't. You have got the magic hose. I'm sure it was in 17. Does anyone else remember doing that? Having the magic hose and being able to uh, pull the slurry from across the field. We had it set in the settings too empty from there. If we put it to a worker again, it would stay at wherever percent we leave it at and they would pull it out from, from there. We'll, uh, we'll do some of this ourselves. This is going to take a long time. I'm pretty sure we've got enough to uh, get a full coverage. If we don't, it doesn't matter. We will be uh, fertilising it once it's sown as well. In, uh, quite way over there. It's, it's half past three and uh, as you can see we're just maybe halfway through the field. don't think I'll, I'll catch up because I'm going to have to come out and uh, fill up probably by the looks of it every other turn. And I'm not too worried about this being a perfect thing. Like I say we're going to spread fur anyway and I can always go round and a headland on the bottom and then the top if I, uh, if I want to I feel the need at the top end they should be pretty tidy should have a good run off there to turn around in it's just down at the end where the bush is, I don't like driving in the bushes, I don't like abusing the bush so we'll try not to I don't know what the workers doing there, they did that when um, they set a worker off in here to do other jobs before they just missed big chunks They appear to be doing it with the mulching. Maybe there's a stump or something under the map that's uh, getting in their way a little bit. I'll have to check that out off screen. I have to go underneath the map and see what's there. Rather than get halfway down or a little bit of the way down, I'll uh, go and refill this once we're at the top, and that's probably sort of how we'll do it for the rest of the day. Do two lengths, refill, two lengths, refill. Doesn't sound a lot, does it? Sounds like a, a laborious task. Maybe I should have tanked the small field, and we should have had the worker mulching to start with, and then. Uh, have the worker tank behind me on the big field while I mulched the last half. But this is how we've done it, so uh, this is how we shall go. Our lovely cows. We've got about 150 now. Just jump out and have a look. I'm sure, it's about 150. 172. Nice. How much milk have we got? Not enough for a full trailer yet. 
So we could say not today, obviously, but at some point in the very near future, order in a hundred calves, stick them in there as well, watch them grow. The uh, wheel loader is in the clamp because I did finally uh, get a little bit of time to try and compact it. There is so much in there. Uh, it's compacted to about 60 odd percent. Um, we're going to do another cut, so that's when we'll compact it fully, get it all in there. And if I remember rightly, I think we could work out to have 750,000 litres of silage um, once we've got all that done, so that'd be pretty cool, that'd be a lot of money. quite like the tanking, although it's just driving up and down on this field. It's uh, not a lot of challenge to it. I want to just pan out, see if I can see what they're doing over there. I just think that's that little patch. There must be a stump or something under there that they don't like. They seem to be doing alright now. Again, it's not an, uh, an essential to to the field. I think uh, mulching gives you something like 2%, 2.5% if that, but it is all extra. This is going to be a big barley field. I'm going to do barley in here. I'm not going to do canola this time, this was going to be a repeated canola field, but now that we've got the other things on the go, I'm do barley in here. I'm going to do wheat in the new field. And I just can't, can't decide really on what to put a small one. Whether I go for a crop that I can sell, uh, but will give me the straw, because I really want straw as well. So I might go with oats in there, and that could be something we can sell. Eventually we'll uh, look into uh, doing a big like, corn and uh, do that as a silage. But if we got this field, if we filled this field with corn, did a green green harvest on it and turned it, what is that worker doing? Just gonna have to go sort them out. Well, I'm hoping that will have sorted them out. Oh, I've been refilled by the way, I've been up and down. Um, yeah, I've moved them to the other side of the field Hopefully, uh, they'll just do better coming from there. I have just done a little strip across the bottom. I'm not sure if there's something at the bottom there that's sort of catching them out, but they just don't like it. Don't know why. We shouldn't think they finish early either, they should just come back on us. Right, I want to crack on with some more of this. Well, it's, it would appear that the worker got extremely lost because uh, I find them over here doing what I don't know. Can't even get the tractor out. It's so proper stuck. Don't know why I can't reverse it out. What have they done? Well, I've muscled it out, and uh, as you can see, the wheels have sunk right into the uh, you know, the map. If I let's see here, now if I put my foot down, spin. Now this is something that I've had happen uh, twice now since using the uh, the real tyres, real traction mods. So I think that's probably a an issue with them. So I may have to uh, turn them off for future reference because this is now <laughs> immovable. It's sunk. Yeah, that's a shame. But it only happens if you make a collision. 
on uh, on a on a different save, I accidentally hit a building, and as the as the tractor popped back down, wheel sunk in, and yeah, I, I got this. And obviously they've turned, done whatever. I don't know why they didn't just stick to their route, but they've turned, they've hit the tree, the tractor has lifted, and uh, it's popped back down. It's lost, it's lost collision with the texture, and now something else is holding it above. So I'm going to turn that off because <laughs> it's not rescuable at the minute. That's probably going to put an end to today's episode because it's half past six, it's pissing the rain. Um, I, I do need to finish mulching this field. I need to finish slurry in the field. So I guess late, uh, late August is going to be uh, maybe a skip day. And I'll just work through it. I'll finish mulching that field. I'll get that working. That's not a problem. Um, I'll finish mulching it tomorrow. I shall finish tanking this field tomorrow. And if I can, I'll bring the stone picker over here. And I'll uh, pick the stones out of it. Get them sold. Don't think. I may have enough time to uh, slurry the new field. That does sound like a lot of work for one day, especially a skip day. Um, we'll see. If I can't get that slurried, I'll save that and uh, I'll manure spread it. We've got, got loads of manure. Um, we may uh, release a manure spreader, spread some manure in the new field. And then it'll be time to uh, start plant. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. And uh, yeah, as I like to show, the good and the bad. We have a little bit of a break over there. And that's going to create an end of play because I'm going to come out and fiddle with some stuff and do some bits. So uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.